The Syrian Arab army, the Tiger forces, and their allies have advanced on positions of Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, formerly Jabhat al-Nusra, and other militant groups in the areas of Harasta, Horsha Shari, and Beit Siwa in the eastern Ghouta region. Government forces have also entered the area of Rehan, but have not yet been able to secure it. Meanwhile, the US-led bloc, the mainstream media, and pro-militant sources are developing their propaganda campaign, accusing government forces of civilian casualties and chemical attacks in an attempt to save militants operating in eastern Ghouta from defeat. On March the 15th, the Pentagon announced that Turkey's Operation Olive Branch against the Kurdish People's Protection Unit's YPG in the area of Afrin had led to an operational pause in US-led efforts against ISIS in eastern Syria. Pentagon spokesman Colonel Robert Manning added that the operational pause had not affected US strikes on ISIS, and the so-called Syrian Democratic Forces still control territory it had seized. Another Pentagon spokesman, Major Adrian Rankin Galloway, said that some fighters operating within the SDF have decided to leave operations in the Middle Euphrates River Valley to fight elsewhere, possibly in Afrin. Thus, Washington at least admitted that the YPG was the main, if not only, ground-striking force of the SDF. Various US officials have repeatedly claimed that the SDF consisted of some mysterious Arab-dominated forces with some YPG presence. On the other hand, the US will now be able to justify their further military presence in eastern Syria with the We Are Fighting ISIS mantra as long as its operation is on pause. On March the 5th, and 6, the Turkish Armed Forces and the Free Syrian Army advanced further in Afrin and captured the villages of Kurevia, Katira, Karaki, and entered the Sharan district centre. Clashes are ongoing.